Hey guys, welcome back to episode 2 of the CNC Guitar Build Season 2. And today I'm going to show you how I lay out this multi-scale fretboard. Now, in order to do so, I'm going to use this particular website, which is FretFind2D. Not Fret2D, as I said in the first episode. But I think most of you knew on what was I was talking about. Now, the first time you open the website, this is what you're going to see with some information already written down but ignore this because obviously we're going to put our own uh, details if you're like me and you don't have java approved on all websites because i don't think now it's not working here you can see some uh, dxf pdf svgs but there's nothing you can press accept the links because I have some buttons missing and I need to download. Well, it's already, I just need to allow it to run. So that is the first thing you do in case you don't have Java running. And you can see here the buttons are visible. Now, and this is an important step for the end of the tutorial, actually. <clears throat> now, let's start from the top on the left, left hand side of the screen. Well, there are obviously the units, inches, millimeters, centimeters, and for this particular fretboard, I'm going to use millimeters. Now, scale length, single, multiple, individual. Now, I know I don't know what is, what's individual. Single is normal. We're going to go with a multiple scale. First thing, scale length. Which is, go, which is the treble side, which is going to be a 25 and a half inch scale length, fender style, which is going to be a 648 millimeters. Last string scale length, which is going to be a 27 inch, and that is a 686 millimeters. Oops. Now, I'm going to skip this for now, just in order to make this more visible. String width at nut. Now this might be a little confusing. First time I did it, this confused me a lot. String width at nut is not the width of the nut. It's the, the width from the high E to the low E. So it's like E to E of the nut. And in my case, that is going to be a 42. 42 millimeters. The string width at the bridge is going to be a 55 millimeters. Oops. And the overhang, the overhang is the distance between the first fret and the edge of the fretboard, which I'm going to do a 3 millimeter overhang on each side calculation method I don't touch number of frets I'm going with 24 fret and obviously seven string now the perpendicular fret distance this is to select which fret is going to be perpendicular to the fretboard now on a multi scale there is always one perpendicular fret the more you're going towards the uh, beginning of the fretboard, the more the instrument is easy to play in this area of the fretboard in the beginning. The lower you go with the perpendicular until the 12th, uh, the easier is the instrument to be played at the end of the fretboard. I like to go something in between which I'm going for the 7th fret perpendicular. Now, here is just a number, 0 0.5. In order to find which one is the 7th fret perpendicular, there is a little question mark here. When you press it, you have this little list. Now, as you can see here, I have a point 0.5, which is this one is the 12th. So this in this case, the 12 will be the perpendicular, but I want the 7th fret, which is this one, and the value is this number, 
which I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste it here. And that is, I should have the seventh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh perpendicular to the fretboard. Okay, so at this point, I have the fretboard laid down. Now, what I want to do now, obviously, since I work with Fusion, I want to export this layout into my Fusion. Now, how to do that? Because somebody asked me about this in the first episode. I do apologize, I didn't catch your name. But in order to do so, we can have two choices. As you might know, Fusion works with either DXF or SVG. But I always have worked with DXF. So in this case, I'm going to save this layout as a DXF. Save to disk. I'm going to save it fretboard Odin 7. Save. Now we can minimize this and open Fusion. Insert DXF. Choose the plane we want to put our DXF, open the file, fretboard Odin 7, and there's our fretboard. Okay, now the issue is that is it has to turn And that's it. As you can see guys, it's very easy to go from this website, from this layout, to Fusion, to having the, the layout ready in Fusion. Okay guys, I want to tell you a little pro tip. If you're going to work like that, as you can see, the frets are all made out of little pieces of lines which make it very annoying to work with. What I do in order to minimize a bit the issue is to save this but with two strings rather than all seven. It will be better to save it without strings, of course, but I like to keep two strings just in case I want to use them. Now again, we we'll save to the disk, we we'll just copy that, make it B, and that's it, we move it a bit away. Okay. Turn it. As you can see, this is much better to work with. And I have a center point for a center line. That's a little pro tip for you. Now, just to give you a little hint for the design i've been working on the design for the body which is this one i'm still a little bit concerned about the lower horn i find it quite big for the moment but overall i really like the the flow of the design that i'm going with this is just a little sneak sneak peek but still not at 100 percent for sure I'm still checking out for the hardware, so now with the fretboard laid out I can figure out the angle that I need because the hardware is going to be custom made for this particular scale length. And I think for today's episode that's it. It's quite a short one, I know, 
and I do apologize about that, but I thought that this was quite an interesting thing to show you, especially for a multiscale. And it's much easier than a piece of paper, ruler, pencil, and a lot of calculations. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I hope you learned something from it. If you're new to this channel and you like what you see, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that notification bell so you'll be aware about my future content. And of course, to everyone, take care and goodbye.